Welcome to Science in Context. I'm Ryan and on World AIDS Day I'm speaking with Professor Simon Gregson about international efforts to reduce new cases of HIV. Simon, what is the current uh, global situation with HIV prevention? Thank you, Ryan. We, we know that if someone living with HIV today is receiving treatment and their viral load is undetectable, then they're unable to transmit HIV to their sexual partners. Since 2016, the World Health Organization has recommended that all people with HIV should be started immediately on antiretroviral treatment, or ART as it's known. It was expected that this policy would quickly reduce the numbers of new HIV infections, but unfortunately, the rate of decline has not been as fast as we'd hoped. And what's being done to reduce new HIV infections? So it's widely recognised now that strengthening primary HIV prevention programmes can help to reduce the rate of new infections. These programmes centre around the use of preventative methods such as condoms, pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is known as PrEP, to reduce HIV transmission. These are being added to with newer methods, including a long-acting injectable form of PrEP. And how is your team's research contributing to these efforts? So we're working with the Zimbabwe Ministry of Health and our local partners at the Biomedical Research and Training Institute in Harare to develop new tools to strengthen HIV prevention programmes at the local level. These tools can help identify people at risk of HIV infection so they can be referred to appropriate services. We've also created an HIV prevention cascade which can identify gaps and common barriers which might stop people from using prevention methods. For example, a young woman might face stigma from healthcare staff when accessing PrEP or someone could be pressurised by a partner not to use condoms. Knowing which of these barriers are most common in their communities will help programmes to implement relevant activities. Ultimately, we hope that these tools will help more people to use prevention methods which will reduce new cases of HIV. Simon, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.